Why does it always start with a flicker of light? How can this one small flare of burning red, orange, and a tint of blue represent all that is pure? I feel its presence almost as if it's haunting me. I question the morals of this illumination like any man would. Why me? Henry, stop talking to yourself and focus. There's someone waiting for you inside your office. As I walk into my office, this unsettling aura casts the room. What could it be? Well, hello there, sir. Henry, I presume? <laughs> Let me guess. Your husband was murdered? But you really did it? No, not at all, actually. Yeah, yeah. Listen here, sweetheart. I deal with women like you all the time. You just want to make it look like you didn't do it. Erase all the evidence that might come your way? Do you really think that's the case? I didn't know what to believe. My suspicions were she wasn't a dame to reckon with. But there was something about her. That flicker of fire burning in those eyes. Was it passion? I don't know, but I was intrigued to find out. Look, somebody has been following me, and I figured you could help me. See, look, I don't even have a husband to murder anyways. Can you help me? I think I can look into it for you. As my partner and I take matters into our own hands, we investigate who this figure of harassing Scarlet really is. Look, Henry, what do you suppose it is? Looks like it's the main crime scene. Sir, I have something to tell you. Something I have never felt came over me. Just looking at her, I felt this sort of spark. What is it, woman? I've wanted to tell you for a long time, and I think you should know that I'm in love with you. But Elizabeth! Shh. Don't talk. Just kiss me. Today, I see the woman in black, Scarlet. Although I can't stop thinking about Elizabeth. Did you find anything? Yeah, he won't be bothering you anymore. Let's just say I took care of it. Well, thank you. You truly are my hero. Now, Henry, what seems to be the problem here? Doc, I'm losing my mind here. I mean, what should I do? Well, what do you think you should do? <laughs> Where do I even begin? Man, I sound awful. This old fart probably doesn't even care what I'm talking about. These girls, how can one just simply pick? Mm -hmm. They're both equally beautifully fluorescent like a dream, but completely and utterly different as well. One is enticing and, and as captivating as any man's lustful dream. Although, is this light I see just a part of my manly imagination? I is she real? The other... Yes. I'll continue. I've known for quite some time. I trust her. She keeps me grounded in my sanity. She's this pure light to my overwhelming darkness. Then I think you know your decision. Which light shall I choose? How can one possibly make a decision like that? For I live in a world where crime doesn't come so easy to solve, and love? Well, that too. That flicker of light that overwhelms me, that passion and fire incises me, but the pure illumination warms me. As I walk here, talking to myself, I wonder why. Why life? Why me? Why her? For I can truly see now that light is in the darkness.